So Lee, what happened today? You took a lunch. Oh, I got lucky enough to meet a gentleman that tried to hit my truck and then take out the uh, the, the pumps and then, uh, I don't know, hit everything but the lotto and then took off. And then he <laughs> broke the pump and I couldn't get my money back. Maybe late. Maybe That's before. crazy. Was, was he drunk? Did the police show up? He got out of the car, looked at it after he ran into the second thing and uh, he didn't look drunk. But uh, And again, I think he's uh, sometimes in better shape than some of the panels are trying to level. Well, where'd you go to get gas? Meth Town? Well, it, no, it wasn't Meth Town. It was, it was Crack Town. I couldn't afford Meth Town. Um, <laughs> Meth Town was busy. And uh, so we, uh, you know, went to Sharksville. It was uh, it was bad. Um, but uh, I ended up going to a second gas station. I got gas at 10 cents more a gallon. So it really, really pissed me off. And it let all the slow people out. Okay. So we're in good shape. So. Right now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to level this panel here. Okay. Um, and uh, right now, it really, uh, it wants to put up a good fight. But uh, They usually do the back of these cabs. Yeah. yeah. But we'll get her. All right. We're taking more than one lawnmower to the back of the cab. Gotta love this high build. Yep. What, wait a minute, there's an old saying you have. Dig a hole? Fill a hole. There you go. Dig a hole, fill a hole. Just like uh, the service. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. It's going to be the prettiest uh, Ford you ever saw in your life. Very good. Well, we're going to level up across the here and on the cow. And the firewall is ready. The size of the cow's looking good. The roof. I'm just starting to block that now, but I can't push it because I'm only a couple hours into primering it, and I'd really like to let it sit a full cycle before I go and block it, but the sides of the panel's looking really good. The roof is looking really good. See, I'm getting a uniform look across the block. There's no highs and lows anymore, so that is promising. And then the side of the cab. This here was all dented and whoop de doo and everything. Let me get this out of the way to get a better light. Yeah. This took eight cycles with high build and block down and then we went over to 2K. After 2K, we were on our third coat. We're not gonna be needing to go much more than that. The back of this cab is looking really good. And just gotta put a little bit more profile into these and then ready to go. So what you looking for, Kevin? I'm looking for everything to work. <laughs> okay. So it's all over the shop here this morning, but we're going to start getting ready to block out any truck again. Okay. We're down to 220. It's starting to look like a uh, look like a cab now. I don't know if you guys saw back here where they done all the picking on it and stuff, and it was bellied in for the corners where we put new corners on it and stuff. Man, it looks great. All this stuff is coming out nice. <laughs> so, what they did and what Kevin and I are doing right now is we're digging the channel out because somebody put latex caulking in there, something you use on a house, and we're digging it all out and then we're sanding it down so I can epoxy this and then I'm going to put the correct seam seal in here. Yeah, we got to epoxy this. Yeah, what is that stuff? Okay. Nice. Yeah, house, house caulk. That's really good. Yeah. What the hell, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good for a chimney. Gotta be good for a truck. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even good for a chimney. What am I talking no. about? They make good stuff for that. Yeah. <laughs> Latex was designed for doing dishes. Okay. For living gloves. <laughs> Looks like you're performing an operation. I guess you really are, though. Yeah, gotta get it down. Yeah. Get it cleaned up good, and then we'll... Uh, 
get her steam sealed, and hey, could be good for a while on this old girl. Hoping so. We've been two weeks of work leveling this truck. Everybody, after a lot of blocking and a lot of priming and re-blocking again, just monotonous, wasted time if I took tons of video. A lot of it gets dumped anyway because we let the camera run. But uh, we have pretty much pretty close to the final, I hope, for 2K coating. Then we're going to follow back with 220, 320, make sure it's good. Maybe one more coat again and then seal it and paint it. So I just want to make sure it dies back really well. It's looking pretty good, as well as everything else. Now the next thing is I gotta hang the doors on this truck. And when I hang the doors on the truck, now I gotta build the doors to the cab because they're not gonna match. We want this truck to look really good. Today I sanded the roof and almost all the lows are all gone. I got just one little area here. I'm gonna try and pull that down to the references on that corner and to that corner, and once I'm done there, I'm good. Same thing on this side here. And then Hank is leveling out the back of the cab. In here we put the new seam seal in all the way around, and we're up to 2K already. We're gonna sand that back real quick and put more 2K in on the panel. And you know what? It's almost like Halloween. Wait a minute. It's like green and orange. Am I right? Are those are the colors? It is very Halloween-y. Weenie. And let's face it, uh, we got a couple of weenies in here that are pretty scary to look at. So, um, yeah, man. We're thinking uh, we're all about the uh, Not even a face a mother could love. Yeah. What the heck? I'll tell you what. Time is not taking its toll very well on us. But thanks, truck. The dash. The dash. Yeah, man. Check that out. And put it all together. Then we're cocooning it. This man right here, Lee Roberts the third. Mm hmm. The second. The second? Yes. We didn't want a third. We, <laughs> we put a boat up. <laughs> we said no thirds. Uh, okay. Well I'm I'm the runt, so I'll take the brunt. Uh Lee's taped the windshield. Low bridge. And firewall's done. Inside the cab is all done. Gonna cocoon everything, did a preliminary quick assemble, couple hours in, pedals are in, starting to wire up, put the fuse block in. Um, just gonna stop at this point because I don't wanna put any electronics in here. I still gotta vibrate the heck out of the cab. I'm gonna final everything on the outside. We're gonna fi finish the doors. Lee's got them prepped. I'm gonna go in, follow up tomorrow, prep again. Poxy, 2K. Block it, body work it, seal it, base, 
clear it. Throw them on the truck, back tape everything. We're gonna paint them as one. We do got some pieces hanging for tomorrow. Okay. Actually, those can come off and uh, Yeah, they're pretty much ready for the most part. All the pots and pieces have gotta be pretty. Yeah, GM left those gray. We're gonna leave them gray, even though it's a Ford. Um, they were naturally gray, so get crucified for why didn't you paint them well Dagum factory I was gonna say the way those are gonna play off the green they're gonna be gorgeous yeah man gorgeous Just like mom used to say. yeah I don't think you own a shirt with any sleeves wait a minute huh not when I'm working in the heat <laughs> it's heat it's 68 in here I know I, I hardly perspired today it was amazing you but I did have to pee a lot, so there's that. <laughs> hey, anything more than three shakes. Yeah, play in with it. You got it. Explain the bicep on this side. <laughs> Single man. Gotta love it. Gotta yeah. Love it. That's gonna play off nice. I think so. I think so. What's everybody else saying? Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna look nice. It'll be fine. We don't care if you like it or not. Yeah. You know what matters the most? The owner. Yeah, the owner. And he's gonna love this thing. Yeah, it's about it's time pretty. for him to get excited. Alrighty. Yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty trick looking. I'm, I'm dying to see how that's gonna play out with everything attached. It's got it shades pretty heavy. It side tones a little bit more than I expected it would, but at least I got the shade pegged down. And Brevard Paint did a great job getting that color. Yeah. That took a long time to get that right. That shoots out in five. So, so transparent. it's very transparent. Green stinks to paint. Same thing with yellows. Yellows are another one that are bad. Tell you what, though, when it all goes together and then the magenta on the motor and everything, that's you're probably going to put sunglasses on just to raise the hood. That's going to be wild. Yeah, isn't that a Corey Hart thing? It's been 80s all day today. I can't. Hey, well, yeah, I had to turn the radio off because of. Oh, you don't want to get copyrighted? Yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted. Oh, there you look at the bed, now the cab's coming together. The motor and the drive frame's already rocking. Yeah. It's gonna be bad to the bone. I gotta do an Eleanor update video too. This one here will just at least break some ice because I've been down for a week and a half on updates. I uh, went to school and got educated. No, we got certified for tri coding. Where we're due. He's been certifiable for years. Certifiable. I don't know, how many years ago was it that I went? To, uh, you went in 2012. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Anybody on here ever gets a chance to go to one of those classes? Grab Highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Class. We went to the Jacksonville Hub uh, for Exalta and jam up, man. The instructors, the support, the products we use, the paint booth, all that stuff, man. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing yeah. If they can cram more information into your skull that you don't even realize. Yeah, until you're what's driving home. nice also is that what I do in this shop and how I paint and everything and get a little tunnel vision. It's nice to go and see some of the new stuff because we're constantly shooting the two stage. Now I got tri coat and I already got tri coat on Doyce's truck. We got the floor done, cab up right, and that's going to be tri coat white all the all the way. Hanks is a two stager, so. But it takes a lot to this get this green. It's going to look like a tri-state. It, it does. It looks like a tri-state. It's very deep because it's transparent green. So we got to go five coats and then three on the clear, and then we're out. Normally, we can go more on the clear and put a little bit more into it. But this clear is the highlight clear, the, the highline clear. It's the most expensive clear next to Spees Hecker. Um, but we're 72200 premium clear. The only one above it, and that's a baked clear, is a 72.5. And above that, if you want a cold potato or potato, if you want to get to the creme de la creme, it would be Spies Hecker. And that's owned by Exalta anyway. I tell you what, the stuff is amazing. You can yeah. really do some miraculous things yeah. with it in the first yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, man. Once you uh, hit it with a buffer, though, it's, it turns to concrete after that. Don't plan on doing much else with it. You can move 72.2. 72.5 is a little harder, but it's good. And if you screw up G2 clear, oh, you're done. You're done. Yeah. You're going to redo it because yeah, that, it does go. not, you can't get a run out on G2. It leaves a halo. 72 2, you can almost damn near brush this stuff on, cut it back, and it'll go flat, and it doesn't care as long as it doesn't solve and pop because if you load, it will pop because it's got a release. And if it's going through layers and layers of clear, and you got so much of it, it's going to trap the bubbles, and you're going to see it. Yeah, I've been, been there, done that. Yeah. But it's something about a clear that you can take, I swear, move, a, move something from one end of a, 
of a panel to the other end with a yes. buffer. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, and you've yeah. done it yeah. time and again. A few times. Get ready to swing the bat again. We did it last year at this time on the Trans Am. This time we're going to be going on the 53. I love products that make you look good. That's the thing. Yeah. Makes us look good. Yeah. Well, All right, everyone. If that's possible. <laughs> right? It is Halloween. <laughs> uh, yeah, Halloween. It's actually, wait a minute, man. After Halloween. It's after Halloween, even though we got the Halloween colors. It's um, November, I have no idea, 12, 13? Uh, I'm losing yeah, track of the days. Clue. All I know is Wednesday. It's they Wednesday already. Yeah. Uh, Crazy, man. What happens when you work seven days a week? Yeah, put a lot of hours in, not a lot of video in. Um, between school, a lot of stuff going around. Uh, personally, and then in the business here. So we're gonna start getting caught up a little bit and I'll start running the camera a little bit more. Same old, same old, blocking, painting, blocking, painting, buffing, polishing, assembly, blah, 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 blah. Thank you all for tuning in, checking us out, subscribing, everything. We really appreciate it. Hope to get more updates as we go on Hank's 53 Ford. Everyone, take care. See you soon. Bye. What are you looking at? My God, you're looking very intently on something. I'm just looking. You're looking for a drape effect. Because I screwed the clear, right? I didn't no, screw the no. pooch too bad, right? We're not doing too bad. Uh, no, it looks good. I didn't check down here, though. No, there's nothing there. Not here. No. It's just the light bounce off this clear, is that? It's crazy. It's, it is crazy. The light bounce is wicked. I love the way that dash laid out. All right, Lee, I'll let you uh, do whatever you need to do at this point. Yeah, because now you're kind of in my drinking time. Yes, sir. I am in your drinking time. <laughs> you should be drinking water. That'll mess, <laughs> that'll mess with the Anheuser stocks. <laughs> Everybody have a good week. All righty. I'm going to go be a window tender now for the rest of the week. Oh, dude. I know. All right. I'll be over in here uh, screwing the pooch. Well, we'll see how the pooch looks that <laughs> Hopefully the pooch ain't too tired. Yeah. All right, buddy. All right, have a good week, guys. We'll see you later. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas.